got tight and blood running through our veins. Get loud. It's your boy Cast here, and we are here to really get into the Kevin Byard breaking news that have just dropped about him agreeing to a restructured deal. Now, a couple of, uh, I think almost a month ago now, we had heard that uh, Kevin Byard had refused to take a pay cut from the Titans, and that all it was all up in the air whether or not KB was going to be traded, whether KB, what new team KB was going to, whether KB was even happy with the Titans. But then on the bus with the boys episode with Taylor Lewan and Will Compton, we found out a lot of different stuff and a lot of deeper stuff into the Kevin Byard information. Like that he wanted to be in Tennessee. Like that they'll get the deal done. All that stuff was said on that podcast. And now a little, like, oh, I think about two, three weeks later, we're here with Kevin Byard has agreed to a restructured deal that will reduce his salary in 2023 to $11 million. But it's a chance to earn the money back with incentives. But we see here, this is what I was talking about. The Titans approached Byard about reducing his $19 million cap hit in March. But Safety refused to rework his five-year $70 million contract in 2019. The deal made him the highest paid safety in the league at the time. He is currently the NFL's ninth highest paid safety. This is the big thing, though. With KB restructuring his deal, it has really, really set us with a lot of money not a, a, a decent bit of money to play with now. As we see right here, restructuring Bayard's deal frees up cap space to bring in free agent wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. The Titans came in turn, came to terms with Hopkins on a deal Sunday, but no signing has been announced. Bayard has 27 interceptions since being drafted by the Titans in 2016. He's been named an All-Pro in 2017 and 2021 and finished the 2022 season with 108 tackles and five, four interceptions. The 29-year-old Bayard never missed a game in seven seasons with the Titans. Bayard and running back Derrick Henry are the highest senior players. Now, I agree that this right here, that restructuring Bayard's deal to get Hopkins is massive. It is. It's truly, it, that's the biggest thing about this restructure. But I also think that the restructure also ha helps to bring in a certain, a certain Mr. George Fant, who is expected to come in and have a workout with the Titans on Saturday, played for the Seahawks and the Jets in the past. And would be a major, major signing if the Titans could get it. Because that immediately, in my opinion, shores up the right tackle spot while Nicholas Petit Freer is gone. And in my opinion, even farther, may sure up to create the right tackle position for the rest of the season if he outplays what Nicholas Petit Freer was able to do last season. And they, the Titans believe that he's the best option going forward for the continuing of the season, depending on how he plays. Well, guys, that's the breaking news for today Follow around the Tennessee Titans. The KB agreeing to a restructured deal. Today is Friday as I speak of this. George Fant has his workout tomorrow. So we will figure out whether George Fant is either going to sign with the Titans or he's not. We'll figure that out very soon. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, this breaking news video is what it's going to be called. If you did, leave a like. If you really like to subscribe. But above all else, I will hope you guys are having a wonderful day. See you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say it. Oh, shit again. Hype now. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say it. Nice.